Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here at Walker Ford, and guess what? When it comes to Ford, big trucks are one of their things that they do really well, and I definitely got a big truck here. This is a all new, redesigned 2023 Ford F-250 Super Duty. This one is right above base. So base is XL, this is an XLT. But before we get into this carbonized gray, this is one of my favorite colors, carbonized gray Super Duty, let's talk about what's going on here. The truck world, it's in a constant change, a influx of changes when it comes to technology, when it comes to style, when it comes to capability, when it comes to amenities. Ford has tried to stay on that learning curve of being the one to bring a lot and to bring it at a price that outdoes the competition. Now, if you're looking for value, XLT trim is one of those value packed trims that I think is gonna surprise you, especially when I show you what's on the inside. But if you're looking for a new truck, something that goes beyond what an F-150 could bring, is this Super Duty the best new truck to buy? And is it worth the price? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this one and find out. Right off the bat, like I said, the color, carbonized gray, and when you go XLT, you don't get a bunch of chrome. And for me, I actually like that. At the front of the business, you're gonna notice, even though this isn't a top trim, you're getting LED lighting, daytime running lamp, headlights, turn signals. I like the carbonized gray on the front metal bumper. And of course, we have LED fog lamps down below. Now you're gonna get your black painted tow hooks on both sides, the massive Ford badge with a little bit of bug guts, which I'm gonna take off because you don't get the bug guts. Those are extra. Forward facing camera, and I'm digging the flat black. I think it just keeps the front end very, very clean. Super duty on the hood. And then of course, you're gonna have that great towing ca uh, capability, which we'll talk about in a second, but super duty, nice bold lines. Let's see what we have around the bend. So you come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire stuff? So we have carbonized gray up top, carbonized gray down below, and I'm really digging this new style wheel. This is new for 2023, good looking wheel. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, yes, it's good looking, but tell me what's the size, 20 inch wheel. So it's not some 23 inch oversized wheel. You have 275 on the width and 65 series sidewall. I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show you. You can actually see the front differential, the box steel frame, the front shock absorber and spring. Really cool to be able to show you the inner bits of this new Super Duty. Side fender vent, they went really big on the style and I like it. Functional, XLT, F250, looking clean. Flat black on your mirror caps, but the good news is they are power folding and they also are power extending. So if you have that larger trailer, you could see around it a little bit better. We get fixed running boards, which I think are so important. You gotta have some type of running board. On the XLT, you got fixed running boards. And you'll notice, I'm gonna have Steven show it off, that badge, we got the 6.7 liter Power Stroke turbo diesel engine. Wait until I tell you how much torque this beast has. For 2023, you have the side steps, allow you to get in and out of the back of the truck very easily. You don't have to stand on the tire because what happens when you stand on the tire? Tell me, you slip off and then you jam your shin or your knee into this bad boy and that hurts like a mother. So this allows you to do it much safer and you could do some calf raises Look how clean that is, very nicely done. Don't have to do it on the tire anymore. Coming to the rear, we do have the off-road suspension, FX4, off-road, you can even go more than this with the Tremor, but we'll get to that when Walker 4 gets their first Tremor. And then at the tail end of the business, just like up front, I love the carbonized gray. You got your LED lighting, carbonized gray metal bumper. We have our new corner steps. You could get a clown shoe in here, a bowling shoe, or a work boot no problem. And then of course we got our full towing capability, like the way they have that. And one thing I wanna show, I wanna show you a little peek. Come on, Steven, let me, let's show them. Check out the exhaust on the passenger side. It's a dual outlet, nice slash cut, gives it a great finished look. And that's something that even on an XL teacher, remember this isn't Lariat, this isn't Platinum, this isn't Limited, this is XLT and you're getting a nice touch like that. Now when you open this up, Soft release, drops on down. 
You can get your flavor of whatever bed liner you want. And then we do have the bed lighting, LED lighting, no power source, but we do have some tie downs. I would like a little bit more in the way of tie downs. But the great news is, if you're trying to compete with your friends, you can measure up right on the tailgate. You can just measure up a fish, a piece of wood, whatever you have, you could get measured up and see whose is the biggest when it comes to the fish that you catch in the sea or in the lake or in the ocean. But while we go ahead, nice. While we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk power of this Super Duty. All right guys, we got the hood popped. Like I said, we have the Power Stroke turbo diesel. You could get a base naturally aspirated engine. Hell, you could get a 7.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 that they call Godzilla. No connection with the mighty Nissan GTR. But what do we have underneath the hood? We have that massive 6.7 liter Power Stroke turbo diesel engine. 475 horsepower and you're looking at 1,050 pound feet of torque. Made it to a 10 speed automatic, zero to 60, believe it or not, 6.3 seconds. The vehicle weighs, believe it or not, 8,000 pounds. Maximum payload is 8,000 pounds. Maximum towing is 40,000 pounds with a gooseneck. So really amazing that they could bring that much towing capacity to an F-250, to a heavy duty truck. But while we go ahead, Let's fire up this turbo diesel and hear if it makes all those great diesel sounds. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this F-250 Super Duty, this being the XLT trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, if this video is about the price and whether this is the best new one to buy, I wanna find out right now, what is the price? Okay, cool your jets, I got it for you. MSRP for the way this one is optioned is right at $76,000. I know that's a little bit much to say. I had to swallow a little bit, but let's see what you get for your $76,000 to the door panels. I do like the very clean style. Contrast stitching, soft touch material. You got that little sort of like granite panel there. It's like this faux granite material. Gives it a little bit of extra pizzazz to the door panel. Of course, you're going to have your slot there in the center. That's for your eight Twinkies, B&O sound system. And then the door pocket is perfect for the Renfest. I know Steven loves the Ren uh, Renaissance Festival. You can easily get three of those big turkey legs and a couple huge uh, glasses of root beer to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, soft touch material up top, well semi-soft, some flat black. You got the Super Duty name stamped in the silver. And I like the way it curves, see how it curves around the AC vent? You slide on in, guess what? Even the XLT comes with the larger 12 inch infotainment system with the new sync for operating software the bno sound system like i said look at the camera quality look out the front you got your 360 cam like i said on an xlt very very nice touch of course your full navigation i'll throw it in the reverse actually that's neutral there's reverse you got your trajectory of course and the continuation of your 360 degree camera what i love is that you're getting physical knobs. You have your standard AC controls, blower and temperature. You do get three stages of heated seats, which is nice. You have your drive mode selector switch and your four by four system. And when you come over to this side, we got a 12 volt. And of course we got a home power source. So they got you covered there, connectivity, USB-A, USB-C, and you could fill this up with peanut M&Ms. Just dump a whole one pound bag of peanut M&Ms in there. Remember, they won't melt in here, even on the hottest of days, because just like the advertising says, melts in your mouth, not in your compartment in your truck. Two cup holders that easily turn into four. Another thing I like is I could put two Hostess cupcakes right here. Easy to get to on the side. You could put some of those uh, Costco churros, maybe even a Costco hot dog. 
still under two dollars since 1985 let me wipe all my sweat off of this i'm sure you don't want to see that nice soft material open this up and you get a generous amount of space two usb c's and you could easily put i would say hmm i would say two five pound bag bags of honey crisp apples i wouldn't get red delicious i hate red delicious apples it's like a lie their name is a lie because every time i eat one of those red delicious apples from washington state it tastes like mush doesn't have a crunch to it i'm like what the hell is this oatmeal apple so not into that but i do like honey crisp very very and a macintosh mm, nice crisp nice crunch seats you got the double cloth setup different material not my favorite for style but the comfort is there which is good news manual adjustments for the passenger but the great news is at least for me sitting in the driver's seat i do have electric assist no sunroof on this one but you do have the auxiliary switches which is really great but why don't you get your butt over here i have 12 inches of screen size i want to show you come on over hi guys business time behind the wheel you do have your simple power seat controls it's just an eight-way adjustable seat nothing to write home about um, and it is what it is it is an xlt trim seats are comfy though steering wheel i'm surprised they didn't at least put some vinyl it's just a rubber made style steering wheel not my favorite but flat black on the buttons manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel you have your column shifter for the 10 speed and then you got i told you 12 inches there's your 12.3 inches of visual screen clear readouts and this one with the modes just like the higher trims you get to see the cool images of all the different trucks that they have for the different modes so very nice clean setup in that but why don't we go ahead let's get in the back seat because i'm ready to go for a ride in this super duty all right guys we are inside the back seat and just like all the other super duties i mean what is there to say back here there's a ton of room i mean surprise the su surprise it's a ginormous truck you do have nice large pockets cloth on the back not my favorite but i get it at this price point you do have large pockets easily get i would say about 20 pieces of pita back here and the good news is you could put a couple cups of hummus have some pita and some hummus usb c's ac vents home power source and a 12 volt you can see all the room back here i mean i got a size 11 and a half almost 12 it 12 shoe and i got plenty of room for my feet for my legs for my shoulders for my elbows for everything the one thing that is a bummer is there's no armrest no center armrest but maybe you could tell your passengers to bring a pillow pet or a pillow or some type of cushion or maybe like a big block of foam they could use that but why don't we go ahead it's that time let's hit the road in this f-250 super duty and see how it drives all right guys we are leaving walker ford and we are in this 2023 f-250 super duty xlt trim right away you're gonna love the large screen and it's great that xlt and above gets the 12 inch screen rather than the 8 inch touch screen the large 12.3 inch digital gauge display and then you're getting such nice touches like the power folding mirrors all of the connectivity in here the 4x4 system and it's the fx4 so you got a little bit more uh ground clearance we got uh, of course the different drive modes you can lock the rear diff so they do bring a lot and that's the big question is is it enough for the price tag of this vehicle seats they've done a great job with all the new seats whether you get cloth whether you get leather whether you're getting the full massage setting and then getting to everything in the truck is well within reach I think one of the best things is they have a power plant for everybody, no matter what you're gonna do with your Super Duty. And there's no denying what the Power Stroke Turbo Diesel brings to the table. I think one of the things, like I said, that would have been just a little bit nicer touch is to have some vinyl, maybe not leather, but vinyl on the steering wheel. And, but other than that, I'm, I'm very impressed with what the truck is bringing. Let's go on throttle. On throttle, 10 speed drops down and we are off and running. So very, very smooth torque delivery. That's one of the things that I love about 
the power stroke is that you have such a smooth torque delivery and the power is there and it's very easy to drive i think that's one of the things is that if you're not familiar to a large truck it's actually not that difficult to maneuver which is great all right guys pulling away from the light really really smooth throttle action and the 10 speed does such a great job uh, it is a a really great transmission conventional torque converter transmission shifts smooth and they did some great work with getting rid of the whole chasing it used to chase through the gears now it's really really smooth and uh very competent of a transmission but going down the road it just it makes light work of all of the bumps and the divots and everything else that could uh get you tied up and i just i don't know it just it's one of those trucks that you could do a lot of different things with it and having the xlt trim available allows you to be at a price point that's a little bit more palatable because once you go up to lariat you're looking at well over eighty thousand dollars and it just keeps going higher and higher and higher so going down the highway here though it's really smooth there's not too much wind noise definitely not a ton of road noise which is great and it makes all the wonderful turbo diesel sounds that you want visibility is fantastic these side mirrors are just unbelievable and all the ford safety tech from the pre-collision to the lane keep assist to the blind spot monitoring it just helps you with the ease of operation of this vehicle and the fact that you have all the great led lighting up front the new look to the super duty i think it, it freshens it up but let's see how we do in this u-turn area going underneath the overpass really really nice and controllable great feedback coming through the wheel and now we're going to go on throttle. On throttle! It's not going to blow your mind, but the great news is, is that it's got plenty of power. I mean, 0 to 60 around 6 seconds is quite respectable for a truck this size. But then you got full towing capability, so it, it really, if, if an F-150 does not meet your needs, this is where you need to be. You need to be in that heavy duty, super duty category of truck. But I'm hoping that this has been a good overall review of the 2023 F-250 XLT trim. We're gonna get back to Walker Ford and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day here in Tampa Bay at Walker Ford. Definitely gotta thank Frank Walker, Western Walker, Tracy, Mark the Gooch and everybody else here getting us this carbonized gray 2023 F-250 Super Duty. Let me know what you think. Is this worth the price for what you're getting? Is this the way to go for your new heavy duty truck? I'm dying to see what you have to say in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Gotta give it up, Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He remembers an important day in his life when he was a kid and got to see Bigfoot for the first time and see Bigfoot crush 10 cars in a row. This truck reminded him of Bigfoot. So thank you, Stephen, for bringing back the memories and for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.